House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 7, Eamon Targaryen pursues Silverwing the dragon, but before a fight comes out, he actually makes Vagar turn away. Both the dragon and the rider have proved since the conclusion of House of the Dragon Season 1 that they are more than willing to kill anyone who gets in their way, thus this is an unusual move for them both. The scene in House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 7, which concluded, was the outcome of a significant development for Team Black, two new dragon riders were added to their ranks. Hugh and Ulf both claimed the dragon Silverwing and Vermithor, and given their size, it's obvious that they feel more confident about facing Vagar now. When Silverwing and Ulf appear out of nowhere in King's Landing, Eamon senses it and at first pursues them, but he eventually retreats from the danger that is waiting on Dragonstone. It's a challenge that Eamon might have accepted in certain situations. For example, people might still be interested in a fight between Vagar, Silverwing and Syrax. Though he is the second biggest and fiercest dragon, Vermithor truly alters the balance. Going up against the Bronze Fury and Silverwing would be unwise, but in a one-on-one -on -one match, Vagar's better war experience would give them the advantage. Even if Vagar could take a few of them with her, she would be doomed if she added Sea Smoke and or Syrax to the mix. When sees what is going on, he learns that Rhaenyra is trying to trick him into falling into a trap, which is identical to what he was going to do with Kristen Cole at the Battle of Rook's Rest. Given their extreme confidence, there's undoubtedly a part of Eamond that is reluctant to give up a fight, and perhaps even believes they could win, but the risk is too great. He and Vagar will be able to battle another day because they fled. Ulf's daring and extremely dangerous strategy is to fly to King's Landing on Silverwing and try to lure Eamond and Vagar into a fight on Dragonstone. One could argue that, given Carrixes's absence, this isn't even an impressive power move, as it demonstrates that even Eamond and Vagar are outclassed and unable to withstand the full force of their dragons. However, there are also certain drawbacks. Ulf is a novice dragon rider, and although Silverwing is more experienced, smaller, and faster than Vagar, there was no guarantee they would return. Comparably, they could have just kept the element of surprise for an attack on King's Landing, but instead they are handing over their cards to the enemy. Nevertheless, it is worthwhile to take on Vagar if you get the chance, although there is a significant danger involved, there is also the greatest reward. Eryx and Malays are two rival dragons that Vagar has already faced and defeated. She has an unbeaten record in the Dance of the Dragons thus far and has also gravely injured one of Team Green's dragons in Sunfire. If House of the Dragon follows George R. 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 Martin's novel Fire and Blood, then episode 7 would seem to set up more dragon battles, but in reality, there aren't many more for Vagar. In general, what happens next will see Rhaenyra capture King's Landing, assisted by Caraxes, Daemon Targaryen, the Dragon Seeds, and their horses. Eamond is actually regaining Harenhal during this time, and he and Vagar then set off on a one-man, one-dragon quest to destroy large portions of the Riverlands. This ultimately results in Eamond vs. Daemon and Vagar vs. Caraxes, the decisive fight. The battle, dubbed the Battle Above the God's Eye, is fought over the lake where Harenhal is located, and it might occur in either Season 3 or 4 of House of the Dragon. All four fighters are slain in this magnificent showdown. Vagar's undoing will come from a rival dragon, not from Vermithor, Silverwing, or the other Team Black Dragons that Eamon diverted here.